welcome to Amrita's Academy. So today I'm going to explain you the chapter Exponents and Powers. First of all, first of all, before starting, what is an exponent and what is the power? So here, 2 to the power of 3. Many people get a doubt. Many people do mistakes. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 6. No, it is wrong. 2 to the power of 3 literally mean that 2 into 2 into 2. So here 2 is the exponent or index. 3 is the 3 is the number of times it is multiplied. That is power of power. That is power. So now, so here 2 to the power of 3. So 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. So 3. 2 to the power of 3. So the power 3 can also be called as 2 cube. Power 3 is also called as cube. So you can call this 2 cube. That is equal to 8. So there are some laws of exponents. That is f. For example, 1 by a power m is equal to a to the power of minus m. That literally means that, for example, if you have a number that is 1 by 3 to the power of 3. So, this, what are this a and m? a and m are variables. You can replace any of the numbers given. If the question is posed, like what is this, you can also write this as 3 to the power of minus 3. In the same way, if they give 3 to the power of minus 3, then you can write it as 1 to the power of 3 cube. So next. Now a to the power of m into a to the power of n. a and m can, uh, a can be any integer, a non-zero integer. That is not 0. A should not be equal to 0. So now, A to the power of M into A to the power of N is equal to A to the power of M plus N. This is the law of multiplication. For example, if it is given 2 cube plus of 2 to the power of 4, then you can simply 2 to uh, 2 cube into 2 to the power of 4. You can write it as 2 to the power of 3 plus 4. That is equal to 2 to the power of 7. And so now, a to the power of m whole to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn. That is the power of 4 whole to the power of 5 that is equal to 2 to, 2 to the power of 4 into 5 2 to the power of 20 so sometimes you get a number which you cannot find it out so you can just write it in an exponent form exponent in powers form because you cannot find it exponential form you can leave that next a to the power of 0 is 1 here, a can be any non-zero integer. So, for example, any number to the power of 0, it can be any number except 0. Like 299 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Any number, any non-zero number to the power of 0, that is equal to 1. Now, if any number to the power of 1, is the number itself. If you we'll take 3 to the power of 1, so you are not multiplying it many uh, such num kind of time. You are just multiplying it once. So you are not multiplying with anything. So the answer will be 1. So any number to the power of 1 is the number itself. So now the law of division. That is, a to the power of m 
divided by a to the power of n that equals to a to the power of m minus n here 4 to the power of 6 to the by, divided by 4 to the power of 4 that is equals to 4 to the power of 6 minus 4 that equals to 4 to the power of 2 power 2 can also be called as 4 square 2 power 2 is also known as square so now 4 square is equal to 16 4 into 4 16 so now a to the power a to the power of b b to the power divided by b to the power of b to the power of b that is equals to 3 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 4 that is equal to 3 by 2 whole to the power of 4 let's take another number here 4 and here 4 so first you should divide 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 2 2 to the power of 4 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is equals to 16 it's enough a to the power of m into b to the power of m is equal to a into b whole to the power of m that is equal to 5 to the power of m into 5, 5 square into 10 square is equal to 5 into 10 whole square that is equal to 5 into 10 50 50 square that is equal to 100 oh, sorry 25,000, 2,500. So here, 3 to the power of 6 and 2 to the power of 8. How about, if they ask you this calculation, how to do this sum? So, we've already learned that a to the power of m into a to the power of n. So you can apply the formula here. That is equal to 3 to the power of 6 plus 8 divided by 3 square. So here 3 plus 8 is equal to 14. 3 to the power of 14 divided by 3 square. So we learnt a formula that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n so here we'll apply the formula here so 3 to the power of 14 minus 2 that is equal to 3 to the power of 12 so next table like LCM same like LCM for only this number like prime factorization free table 12 times three table Again, three table, eighty one, eighty one, three table. The six two twenty one seven. Three table nine. Three table three. Three table one. So here, how to write this in exponential form? So seven twenty nine is seven times three. Six times three. 
so how to represent that so i already said you that exponent exponent is 3 here so power is how many times you're multiplying this number say so multiplying 6 times this number so here the power will be 3 to the power of 6 so 729 is 3 to the power of 6 next let's find out another number 625 625 so here uh, the last digit is 5 so this is divisible by 5 so let's go to 5 table 625 divided by 5 5 12 0, 60 2 5 down 125 125 divided by 5 25 5 divided by 25 5 5 1 time so here the exponent is 5 and the number of times it is multiplied is power so 5 to the power of 4 is 625 So let's go to another sum. Like So how to solve this sum? So first, 1 by 3 to the power of minus 1. How, so we have learnt a formula that a to the power of minus m is 1, 1 by a power m is equal to a to the power of minus m. So here you can see a formula a to the power of minus m. So that is equals to 1 by 3. 1 by 3 to the power of 1. 3 to the power of 1 is 3. Whole to the power of 1. Any number whole to the power of 1 is the number itself. So this number is the number itself. So how to divide this? Reciprocal of the second number. So this value is 3. So 3... So this whole value is 3. 3 into 9 to the power of 0. We learned that a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So any non-zero integer to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So 3 into 1 plus of. We learned another formula that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. That is also equal to 3 to the power of 6 minus 9. That equals to 3, 6 minus 9 is 3 to the power of minus 3. That can also be written as 3 to the power of minus 3. That can also be written as a to the power of minus m. So 1 by a power m. That is equal to 1 by 3 cube. 3 cube is 27. 1 by 27. Then 9 to the power of minus 1. A to the power of minus 1. 1 by A power M. That is equal to 1 by 9 to the power of 1. So 1 by 9. So here you can multiply this 27 into 9. 9 7 is 63. 6 and 9. 9 2 is 18. 18 plus 6 24. 243 3 3 into 1 is 3 plus of 1 by 243 so here you're going to take lcm into 243 so 243 into 3 3 3 is a 9 3 4 is a 12 1 3 2 is a 6 7 7 29 so 7 29 plus 1 by 243 is also equal to 730 by 243. 
So the whole answer is 730 by 243. That's all in the chapter exponents and powers, the basics of exponents and powers which we learned in 7th class. So please like, share, comment to Amrita's Academy and don't forget to subscribe. Um, this is Amrita signing off. Bye.